genitals. Hey guys, Lindsay Bell here, back in Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. Um, we are going to go see Alistair Grout. So, come here. Hop in. <laughs> I love that. Sure, why not? Alright, he's all the way out there. So, we gotta go see what the heck is up with him and why he's not answering his phone. <laughs> so, ah. Um, hi. You. What are you doing here? Your voice sounds different. Hmm. Oh, I was just in the neighborhood. No. Hmm. That wasn't really a yes or no question. Are you looking into Grout's disappearance too? Um. Hmm. I'm going with the first one. You should get out of here. This place is bad news. Pardon me. Wow. Why? What's inside? You sound a lot different. Or is it just because I had. What the fuck was that out there? Or is it just because I haven't heard from you in a long time? I don't know, maybe? Hmm. I don't know. What's over here? Before I actually go inside. Hello, light. Meet my sword. Okay. I guess that was a leaf maybe I saw flying up there. The big ass place. What? I was apparently stuck on something. Hmm. Okay, there's nothing here. So, we'll just go inside. Away we go. But yeah, it's just... Did he actually sound different? Or was it really... Just because I hadn't heard him in a... What the motherfuck hell? What the fuck is your problem? Well, this already worries me. Oh yeah. Yep. Really? You just closed in my face, you bitch. Oh shit. Alright, hold on. Yeah. Why why why? Why? Isn't one annoying enough? Why would you have fucking six of them? All next to each other too! What the fuck is with everybody? <gasps> oh, I forgot it does this. Didn't I? Something is seriously wrong with this dude. I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna do it. There we go. It is quite peculiar, the happenings I've been made to witness for my supernatural longevity. I am thinking of one unfortunate phenomenon in particular, of unique interest to my station, both as a professional and as a sufferer of this vampiric condition. It seems the stream of time has begun to erode the moorings of my chosen course of study, for the methodologies that gave birth to psychology are slowly disappearing. I find myself in an era that overlooks the physical component of psychological pathology time and again in favor of the sophistic practices of Freud. Phrenology, dactopintalism, and the rest of the old guard has fallen by the wayside, its champions all silenced in death, with my unique exception. Would that I could make my voice heard again, although it may be suspicious should I return to popular medical discourse fifty years after my apparent death. <sighs> no, better that I continue my studies into the psychoses in secret. One day, may I hold up my own cure as validation of the methods. 
I am confident no cure for my condition or that of my beloved wife lies within our figurative minds waiting to be unlocked by the correct combination of memories recovered from our childhoods. And I'm most certain it has nothing to do with the relationship between myself, my parents, and my genitals. Sorry, Sigmund, but I choose to stay my course. In time, too, may your star fade and disappear. Alrighty. So, I guess. Why? Why? I keep forgetting. If you hit shift, she'll just she'll just automatically just walk. I hate that. Um. Okay, I guess. Okay, that pretty much tells me right there. Those things are gonna be all around here. Watch. Okay. Hmm. Oh, well, of course not. Why? Oh, fuck. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> he turned it off. He's so happy. <laughs> He's so fucking happy. Oh, fuck me. That looks like a puzzle. I'm gonna kill you. Actually, I want to drink your blood. So, oh, fuck. Uh... Wait, did I just get them all on? Oh, I thought. I win. I don't know how I I don't I don't know how Cause that one was on and then I hit that one. And I hit that one. You know what? I'm just gonna go with it. I'm not even gonna try to figure out how the hell I did that. What's in here? Ooh. Nothing. Okay, I guess that's gonna open up later. Probably gonna find another puzzle. What's this? Oh, fuck. Okay. Listening time! Another unfortunate casualty to Tide of Time. Insane asylums. I lament their loss, not only as brokerage houses for the breadth and depth of human psychosis, but also I shall mourn the disappearance of that peculiar environment present only in an insane asylum. That palpable atmosphere of blistered brains and churning bowels, the odiferous melange of freely flowing bodily humors, that gently rolling cacophony of distant sobs and screams, the muttered cursing at perceived enemies, and the blissful gurgling of the lobotomized, like a newborn babe discovering the sky. Hmm. Huh. I shall still find test subjects as surely as I find bloody sustenance in the night, but this climate, I fear, may never be replicated. I found a door. I found a motherfucking door. <laughs> okay, I don't know how I'm gonna have to open that. Probably another fucking puzzle. Is this open yet? Nope. Why would it be? Oh, there we go. Away! Alright. You don't see me. No, you don't. Okay. Oh my! What the fuck? Dude, what happened to you? Ooh, bad shit happening. That's what happened to you. I'm going to give you. He is fucking crazy. Alright, this is 
Don't walk towards me. Don't walk towards me. I'm going to kill these and then I'm going to go and kill him. This is fun. Oh my god! He was going to touch my butt. Oh lord. <laughs> All right. Um. Okay. Hold on. There's this door too. Oh no, that's locked. That's like super locked. Um. Of course. A fucking court. What the hell? Am I seeing things? Or no, I'm not seeing things. Well, that was weird. Okay. Yeah, that don't look suspicious at all. Okay. Yeah, that's not suspicious. <laughs> oh, didn't see me. No, you didn't. Often I reflect with great regret on the missed opportunity that was my infector. Had I been conscious after the attack, I could have stopped the orderlies from locking her in the roaming pen. What I would give for just one interview, a few simple questions of the plague-ridden woman who met her end that dawn. Of course, there is no guarantee she would have been any more helpful than my current crop of test subjects, mewling wretches. Few could be called enthusiastic. Given the nature of the tests, I cannot expect the same fervor from all, but a modicum of cooperation would be appreciated. Animals. The one called John went so far as to gnaw off his arm and escape into the floorboards like some feral rodent. I still hear him scurrying about at night. He must be making an atrocious mess in there. Got it? Okay. Kidding me? Hi. My studies proceed at a languid pace. I'm mired in a foul ennui as my wife's illness advances. My subjects grow restless without proper supervision, but I cannot pull myself back from this black depression. How many nights I've wasted now, gazing from the tower walk, pondering the frailty of existence. Well, that was it. Okay. I'll, 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 I'll stop. <laughs> um... Okay. What the fuck? Up we go, I guess. I kind of feel like I won't be doing much talking in this video that he'll be doing all the talking, apparently. What? Okay. But yeah, that's kind of what I feel like because there's going to be a lot of those things. Um, okay, let's go. At least it seems like there's going to be a lot of those things where you get to hear his notes or something. So I guess once I find him, he's going to be... Ask me, I guess... Oh, oh shit. Oh, it's just you. I'm going to shit. I'm thirsty. <laughs> but... I guess if I was Markavian, he would have wanna. Um. Okay. Do test too. Hmm. You know I haven't saved, and um, I'd rather not have to go through this all again. So.
Yeah, come on, bitches. You want to come in here? Go right the fuck ahead. Oh! No! Bad, bad, bad. Both of you. Ha, ha, I win. Alright. Um. Just go through the first one. What? Okay. Alrighty. Whatever works. So then this is gonna be. Okay. Because there's a door over here that is locked, so never mind. I'm not even going to try. Ugh. After decades of solitary study into this affliction, I have learned that it is by no means mine alone. Indeed, the city is home to an entire society of similarly afflicted individuals with whom I've only recently made contact. They are an understandably standoffish sort, by and large, but I have been able to confirm with them that the condition is indeed vampirism, which apparently comes in a multitude of strains, each with a spectacular set of symptoms such as invisibility and even a sort of lycanthropy. Through numerous official interactions with the governing body of this secret society, I have concluded that their fundamental understanding of the vampiric condition is woefully lacking and mired in suspicion and pseudo-religious dogma that would make a Turk balk for its strictures. Indeed, they seemed impressed with my studies and the eloquence with which I was able to present them. Apparently, the typical sufferer of my particular strain of vampirism is far from the vanguard of the king's English. So impressed were they that they even offered me an office in their government, a rather high office by the sound of things, I believe I shall accept. If nothing else, it should provide a lofty vantage point from which to observe the breadth and epidemiology of the affliction so that I may move more expeditiously toward a cure. Alrighty, look at that. Hmm. Ah, fucking cool. What the fuck? Of course. Because you know, why not? I just wanted her to stop laughing. It was getting very annoying. What the hell? Um. Stop it. Stop running. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Whatever works. Mm. Oh, hey, I'm upstairs. Oh, hey. I am going to leave that up so I can go down if I need to. I have accepted the role of Primogen for Clan Malkavian, the dreadfully winsome label applied to the particular strain of vampirism I suffer, so named for some supposed vampire father figure of old or poppycock grown from a backward culture that seems interminably drawn to children's tales and the fiction of Victorian romance when it should concern itself with the science behind their suffering. No matter, for I have taken this office for no greater reason than to advance my research. I must make mention, however, that even among my would-be peers in this governing body of vampires, the level of paranoia and superstition is frightening. Their intelligence is not the question, no, indeed. As they courted me for this appointment, I had to suspect that their overtures were hand-tailored to what must be my obvious infatuation with reason, for the devil would do well to have such honey-tongued tempters. 
Even so, I could not help but notice the dressing of language these vampire leaders chose for their siren song. Whether it is born of habit, from addressing their unwashed, ill-educated subjects, or from their own deep-seated beliefs, their linguistic flourishes belie a faith in superstition over the providence of empirical reason that must be an all-pervasive theme in this society of darkest night. Damn it all, now I'm doing it too. <laughs> um, I want to do this first. Ah, I was right. I figured it was going to open that. So. Do I still have to do this? What the f Did I just... I'm not sure what I just did. Fuck you, that door is open. I'm going downstairs. <laughs> I am not going to spend all my time doing this. What the hell? Holy shit, I'm fucking saving that because I do not want to end up like him right there. So put that away. I thought I could get under that. I guess not. I guess it's a good thing I just saved that. <laughs> okay. Well. So what am I supposed to... I gotta look at that. Put that away. So, hold on. What did I just... Okay, there, okay. I don't feel like such an idiot anymore. Okay, so now that one's off. I'm just gonna go around and just turn all these off. Alright, look at that. Burn out. Okay, that worked. Oh! Oh my god, are you fucking kidding me? Fucking kidding me. You can't be kidding me. Okay. Oh! oh look at that shit. Yeah, okay. Not that bad anymore. Just gotta remember how to get there. It's still here, isn't it? Easy geez. Alright. This is pretty much, I guess, this is Malkavian. It's a house of puzzles, pretty much. Mm. Huh? I'm sorry, I was looking at my phone. <laughs> I was confused. I didn't want to hit that. I don't want to bring out my sword, but okay. What's in here? Oh. Bitches be in here, okay. <gasps> you have to die now. Stuck your neck. Snappy snap snap. Oh god. He's going around touching everyone's butt. That's what he's really doing. He's touching their butts. That's where they're going crazy. They're not all for the butt touching. Okay, come here. It's okay. It'll be over soon. So all are yeah. Are these just Okay. So are these like just crazy people all together or what's going on? Are these just normal people? Or okay, let me try that again. Are these normal people, normal crazy people, or are these like Ooh for me. Um What am I trying to say? Are these Malkavians? Or I guess 
They want me among Cavians since I can take their blood? I don't know. I'm so confused. I don't got a thing going that way. Ah. Me in. <gasps> mine, mine. Mine, mine. Oh, what? What? Hold on. Ooh. I will explore it. I will drink it all. Alright, so here. Yep. Ah, sorry. I had an itch. There we go. Nope! 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 Can't see me now! Both bitches came out. Die, die. No, no, no. No, no. No, god damn it. This is why I go sneaky! Go away! Lay you bitches out. And he's just standing there. Like, yo, that didn't happen. Stop it! No! Asshole. Before I go in there... Ooh. Oh my god, nope. Nope, nope, don't look. <laughs> Stop it! Oh my god! Oh my god, I'm gonna die. I can't run. Run and turn around. Oh shit! Where the fuck did you come from? Behind me. Oh shit. I'm asking that and I can clearly see where the hell you came from. first. What? Oh. Whatever. Just keep it on then. Oh shit! You just... Ow. Okay. That happened. Oh my. Okay. Um, maybe I are Bohemians. I can't feed off of him. I can feed off the girls. Or did I feed off of him earlier? Not that particular one, but you know what I mean. As he glitch through the door. Alright. I think I'm good now. I'm gonna save. <laughs> Alright. Oh! I am lock picking this door. I was successful. <gasps> um. What the fuck ever? I'm a fool. I'm a fool. Okay. So. Whatever. Phone's not working. Okay. Hmm. Sorry, I have hiccups. God, this place is so weird. Oh! Oh, no. Don't look in there because that's going to drive me nuts. Well, we already know it's all in here. Oh. Okay. That's just a way to sneak by everybody. see me. 
me. The rat? Was it the fucking rat? Sorry I was being quiet. I was trying to figure out who the fuck could see me. kidding me oh my god all right the voices have increased in frequency and direction of late they have begun to stay with me long after conversation has ceased and are serving as quite a distraction i fear others are beginning to notice my preoccupation at the vampire gatherings I am thinking again of the particular vampire of whom I spoke previously, who I dare not name for my growing fear. If the voices are to be believed, then my caution is warranted, for they speak of... Oh, I picked up one of those again. ...his blackest crimes, both past and future. More than once, I have seen the suspicion in his eyes and heard the distrust in his voice when speaking with me. The fear must register on my face, as it is all I can do in these moments to keep from crying out in chorus with the voices. Okay, so pretty much he's going for Markavian and everybody. Anybody around? I need blood. I just realized that. Of course, why the fuck would anyone be near? Why? 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 It'd make fucking sense for someone to be near me! Give me this. I am no longer safe. I know it. The voices have proven themselves authentic, and I have withdrawn from the vampire society entirely. My absence will no doubt draw attention, but I could no longer hold my fragile composure around the ravenous eyes of my vampire peers. Especially not around him. The voices compelled me to make what I fear is a Faustian bargain, but I had to, for their demands are constant and merciless. I have secluded myself within the mansion. I know he will strike out at me. He will go to any length to achieve his ambitions, and he knows that I know. I have taken precautions to protect my beloved wife. Her cure will have to wait until our immediate safety is guaranteed. The mansion was constructed with security in mind, but at that time I was not privy to the full range of vampire capabilities. The voices echo in the twisted corridors of my psyche, dark whisperings of a macabre and formless menace, the approach of which portends an end, an end to all of this. All right. All right. Um. There's no blood. That should be good. Yeah, that's good enough. Um. Save. Okay. I'm not gonna ask. Is that a brain. Hello. I look at them and it's like, oh, it's a rose. Am I the fucking Beauty and the Beast thing now? <laughs> That's what it looks like. Give me that ring. Hold on. What? Is that his wife? Girl in the back is like, what the fuck? Um. Oh. 
Okay. That's kind of neat. Hello. Okay. Oh, look at that. It was a um neat kind of little way to open it. Oh, what the fuck? Oh. Oh shit. He's he's completely dead. Not cool. What the fuck? Is that a bad thing? Yep. Oh god. I don't really want to look at that picture. I hear shit going on. Uh. Okay. Anything else? Oh, that's it. I feel like I should save again, even though I just saved, but I feel like I should again. Oh my god. The Lord be by the flames. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> Cross dead. Who are you? Out is dead? Pity it could not be by my hand. No matter. Soon your self made kings and false prophets and all who bear the mark of the beast will be washed from the earth. The coming of the oh my god. Mm, who the hell are you? Yes, you burn. Tell them it was Greenfeld Bach who sent your damned soul to that lake of fire. All agents of Satan shall return to whence they came. Let <clears throat> this righteous display serve as a promise to all who serve the arch fiend Lacroix. I'm coming for you, Lacroix. By the power of the Lord. I will cleanse your black soul. Why did it sound like he like freaking glitched out going from section to section? <laughs> the guy said she get the fuck He's on he's just gonna stand there on fire. Yep. Glad I have this. Do I just Oh shit! I almost ran into him. I love how they're just standing while they're on fire. They just don't give a fuck. Apparently. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so glad I have this because I don't want to sit here and have to fight them because I'm pretty sure they put me on fire. Oh my god. Oh, ain't going back that way. Oh. Out I go. <laughs> I was about to say, I'm going to see if I can bust windows open and get the hell out of here. Are you going to be able to see me? Sort of. Kind of. I can take this off now. Okay, let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> oh, wow. That was... Oh. Again, I'm so glad I had that thing. Um, before I go, is it this way? I think it's this way. Is it posting just a second? Yes, it's this way. I. I know I probably should go tell him right away, yo, dude's dead. But, I want to see if I'm going crazy or not. Because I swear to God, his voice sounds different. Move out of my way. Oh my God, it's going to be loud in here. Although, I will be able to turn it down for you guys this time. Ugh. Come on. There we go. Alright. Alright, damn it. You 
look like you've seen a ghost. First name. You went to go look into something. Why? I just saw him at uh, the Grout Syringe. And Say what? I think nine's. No. Oh God. No matter what I say, they'll be fucking pissed. Um. I'm just gonna say second one because I'm not really saying he, uh, he killed him. I'm saying I saw him there and he happens to be dead. Yo, that's bullshit. I don't know if you are to this or what, but you best not be saying that shit to you. Right? I know what he's out doing and it doesn't have anything to do with the Camarilla. So not our only concern. No shit. Mm. I guess. See you later. You gonna move now? Thank you. Cause this bitch is up here. Um, really? Whatever. Where's Jack? Yo, Jack. So I heard you and uh. Nines had a run in with the Sabbat, huh? And you let them go. Nines must be getting soft. How could you pass up that kind of fun? Um. Someone must have put a word out. Now. Here's an interesting little scenario. I'm just gonna run this by you, see what you think. What if the prince got the word out to Sabat that you were the one to blow up their warehouse? I thought I talked to you about this. I don't know. I don't know anymore. Do you really think that's possible? Hey, this is a theory, man. Knowing where you're going and all that. Mm. That's a good point. It's how the Camarilla works, kiddo. Trust me. I've been dealing with these slimy shits for a few centuries now. Okay. Oh yeah, running a little fact finding mission for Lacroix. Maybe. You? Unfortunately. And the sarcophagus. Did LaCroix tell you about the Ancaran sarcophagus before Okay, you maybe I didn't talk to you about this. Yeah, now I didn't talk to you about this part, but... I don't know. I'm... I'm going crazy. <laughs> um... It's not as much as I would have liked. Yeah, well, maybe I should fill you in on the details. That sarcophagus is bad news. Kindred around the globe have been going batshit since it was discovered. Why? The word is, is there's an ancient asleep in there. One of the fathers was a vampire that we can trace your lineage way back. There's a chance it'd end up with him at the roof. You were asleep this whole time. Ancients don't just nap. They sleep whole ages away. And when they wake up, they're hungry. So he'll wake up and go hunting. <laughs> what, you're afraid of the, of the boogeyman, Jock? No, first one. It's more than that. Most kindred think it's one of the signs of the end, the apocalypse. Every religion has their own version of it. Kindred call it Gehenna, and the way they tell it, it starts when the ancients rise to devour their children. Mm, is this for real? In light of what I saw there, it's a little selling. Um, this for real? No one knows for sure, really. That's just a word that's been handed down through the ages. The Camarilla denies these ancients oh, exist. Interesting. So what'd you find out? It was a slaughter, whatever it was in... Okay. No kidding. Well, I guess there's gotta be something in there then, huh? The Camarilla's gonna be scraping for answers when this gets out. You think it was the ancient then? You forget the legends? It's in the air, alright. I've been around longer than most kids. I've felt the change in the past few decades. It's in the blood. We're racing towards something and picking up speed all the time. Yeah, I smell what you're cooking, but a crock, maybe. Um. Yeah, sure, I agree with you. You've seen the evidence with your own eyes. You're caught up in all of this. Um, don't ask you questions? Sure thing, kiddo. Fire away. Um. What's on your mind? So. What's up? Okay, yeah, I'm out of here. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna go. I guess I'll leave it off with the prince. Go talk to him and then end it. Because it was in there that 
mansion for a very long time. Ah! No! Stop it! Okay. Ah, do, 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 do. Not me, I didn't do it. Alright, let's go. Oh, you know what? Maybe I should talk to him. I didn't think about that. In my way. I guess, real quick, we'll go see what he says about all this. Tell him that, you know, gout is kaput. Alright. I think that's just the right way. Yes, because it did that little freaky jump. Oh, God, that picture. Hello, neonate. How can I be of assistance? Mm. Of course. I can't... What is it you would like to know? I guess I can ask him about... Sarcophagus? No more than yourself. But I do know that LaCroix is much too focused on acquiring it. His obvious need for it reveals a weakness that his enemies may one day exploit. What do you think is inside of it? I do not know. Although I must admit that I sense a change in the night air. Something subtle and not altogether pleasant. Perhaps the arrival of the sarcophagus is the harbinger of something more dreadful. Like? I will say no more. Okay, I'm there. There was... What is it you would like to know? Let's talk about something else. Of course. Oh, I can't tell you that he's dead. Well, that ruined it. I wanted to tell him that he's dead. Open. There we go. Nope. Wait. Fuck. Fuck! I hate this place! I hate it with a passion! God damn it. Kill me. There we go. I still not go up here. That was really bothersome. Oh. All right, so now, now we can go see the prints. Come on. All right. Mm. This way. God damn it. Let's go. And I need to go get me some food. Oh, no, no, no. He is right here. Let me in. Ugh. Ow, I smacked my desk. And that hurts even more because my hands are freaking cold. Okay, let me in. Evening there. Something burning? Ooh, it smells like someone burnt the burgers. I don't smell anything. Uh, sure, I'll open her up for you. Jeez, I could go for one of them double spaced burgers. Onions, cheese, bacon, guacamole. Okay. <laughs> he wants burgers now. That makes me hungry. Now I'm hungry. God damn it. <laughs> the primogens still haven't been contacted by Grout. I thought I made it clear that you were not supposed to come back until we had heard from him. <laughs> Fuck you. First of all, Grout no longer exists, bitch. Grout's dead. What? Uh... <laughs> Second, I must die in a fire. Fuck. Every time I think he's lost the scent. So. Buck killed Grout to draw me out. Sure. <laughs> Seemed like Grout was already dead. Okay. No, the second one, he didn't know he was dead. Buck is a hunter. They stalk and kill our kind to appease their god. But like many mortals, their so-called faith is nothing but a conduit through which they quench their killing urge. Who else would have killed you. Grout? Um, if you let me finish... Asshole. Let you finish? With whom do you presume you're speaking? I so want to punch him. God, I want to punch him! Look at me. Are 
you sure it was Nines Rodriguez? Because if it was, the consequences... Do you know where this might lead? Do you really have any idea? Oh, oh, why don't you tell me, Captain Dramatic? But really, I mean, it, was, it looked like him, but it sure didn't sound like him. I'm glad you find this so amusing. I don't. And do you know why? It means, under most circumstances, I would call a blood hunt on the murderer immediately. However, the Anarchs of this city may interpret such an action to be a declaration of war. I do not want a war with them. This decision will take some time. I need to confer with the Primogen on this. In the meantime, I've come to a decision on the Ankaran sarcophagus, and I believe that for the safety of the inhabitants of this city, we need to place the sarcophagus under Camarilla protection until its contents can be confirmed. You're becoming quite indispensable to me. So, out of all my available personnel, I'm going to entrust the retrieval of the sarcophagus to you. It was quietly delivered to the Museum of Natural History a few hours ago. No fucking shit I have to go. Whatever, I'll go at once. The manifest from the Dane shows there was a small box from the same dig on board, but it was listed as missing. Keep an eye open for it. It may have been overlooked. It's crucial we get the sarcophagus in our possession within the next few hours. Mm hmm. Whatever, first one. Here are the keys to the front door of the museum. The sarcophagus should be in an examination room of some sort. There's a small security staff on site, but I don't want a massacre. Mortals are just as easy to deceive as they are to kill. Keep the keys. I'm going in top side, but if you questions, I'm ready to go. No keys needed. I'll find another way. I have a few things. I want the fucking keys! Whatever. There is a degree of immediacy attached to this task. Work fast. And, as on the Dane, you are not to open the Ankaran sarcophagus for any reason. Excuse me. Fuck you! Fucking hate you. Oh my god. Okay, so I know what we'll be doing next time, so... Next time when we come back, we'll be going to the museum. Why I had to give him the fucking keys back? I have no clue. I have no fucking clue. Nah. Oh, God. Alright. So. Okay, so next time, like I just said, we'll be going to the museum. Not killing anybody. Okay. <laughs> Alright. So, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.